When you're behind and things aren't going too well, there's a temptation to take a risky shot in order to get back into the game. Be careful. It's better to play safely and wait for the game to swing round. Your opponent might get overconfident and attempt too ambitious a shot. That's when you'll get the chance to get back into the game. Learn to weigh up each situation as you find it. Evaluate the chances of a particular shot coming off. Could it lead you into a big break, or is it just a one-off pot? Work out what will happen if you miss. Is it worth the risk, considering the opening you might give your opponent? Of course your decision will be influenced by the scores and the state of the balls on the table. Often enough, a good break will win you the frame, so you must be prepared to go for the shot 100% when it arises. Be decisive. Defensive play has its place, but it won't necessarily win you matches. Above all, learn from your mistakes. When you lose a match, work out where you went wrong and go over the points in practice. We've covered a lot of ground in this video. Now let's see how it all fits together under match conditions. My opponent for the game is somebody I know very well. Now let's meet him. And also meet John Smythe, international referee, who's going to toss up to see who breaks. Tails. Steve won the toss, some will break. First frame. Right, well it's always worth breaking off in the first frame. Put your opponent under pressure. Going to play the standard professional break. Hit the second to last red. Strong right hand side, off the top two cushions. Back between the blue and the pink. Trying to put the white ball tight on the bottom cushion behind the green. Well, it's not bad. Not much chance there. Well, can't really play too much of a safety shot. I think I'll just try and trundle this red into the top pocket. Usually if you play a shot like this and you miss it, the balls usually come out safe. Well, it's not too easy for him to putt. Steve, 29, Davis, 15. Well, this is a bit difficult. I haven't really got much of a chance of potting one. I think I can probably play a shot to nothing as a... pop that first red ball. Won't, won't be an easy shot, but the white ball will come back down the table again anyway. Get the white ball on the cushion. Make it a difficult shot. Hope you can't see that red by the blue there. Well, this isn't easy. He's put myself under a lot of pressure here. Can't really play any of the top balls to get back down the table. The red's too close to the middle pocket for that. Looks like I'll have to probably go for the... squeeze it past the brown. Where's the white ball going to go? Well, it's going to go up the table. I can't guarantee where it's going to go, but... I've got to pop this ball, otherwise I'm in trouble. Keep my head down. Ah, oh, good shot. Oh, perfect. Look. One. Couldn't have hoped for anything better than that. Perfect on the black. Just pop this natural shot off the top cushion back onto the three reds, waiting to go into the opposite pocket. Should get a few here. Eight. Looks like I'll pop the ball hard, stun it across, pop the black in the same pocket. Try and make the white ball move as short a distance Nine. as possible. Uh, the same shot here, just screw the white ball back. Ball's only going to move a couple of foot, there's no chance of it going off course. Sixteen. Just trundle the white ball through here. Seventeen. Make sure I don't get straight on the black, because then I can stun across the table again. If I was straight, I'd be in trouble. It wouldn't be so easy anyway. Just done up into the middle of the table again for the other loose red. Twenty-four. Well, my only problem's going to be the two reds on the side cushion. They shouldn't be that difficult. They're, they're not really lined up for the pocket, but they, all, they go into the middle pocket. Just stun here and keep on the pink. Twenty-five. Got to make sure I... After I pot this last, second, third last red, that I've got an angle on the black to get behind the reds. Pot the pink, get into the middle of the table again. 
Mm, I haven't come far enough there. Need the rest now. 31. Not a difficult shot with the rest. Got to make sure that I keep the rest head perfectly still on the shot. Very important part of the game, that. Lots of players fall down on the rest. So they're not confident with it. Got to practice with it a lot. Keep my hand on the back of the rest. Make sure it's all still. The same cue in action. Still pulls at 32. the back. It's very important. Looks like I've come perfect on that black. It's just an angle. I don't want to have too much momentum on the white ball, but I could, I can stun this white ball round the back of the reds there. So they both point to the middle pocket. Oh, that's diabolical. Oh, that's a joke. Well, 39. I still need both reds, I think. Yeah, 25 in front. Well, I think I'll try and pop the one in the corner. I won't leave much on anyway. Screw back on the black. The chances are I'll play it. It'll go safe anyway. That was miles out, but still. 25 in front. 39, Davis. Steve, 29, Davis, well, 54. I can't go for the red by the middle pocket. It won't cut in. And I don't fancy putting it in the corner. It's too dodgy. I think I'll try and play exactly the same shot he's just played. Play safe at the same time. Try and get on the black, just in case. Oh, that's a good shot. Uh, One. Don't like the position much, though. Oh, I've got to decide now whether to go for it or play safe. Still, cut backs into the black are things you practice all the time, so I should know the angle. Just hope I get position on the red. Get around the back of it. Get in the middle pocket. Got the black. Where's the white book going? Oh, well, it's not as bad as it could have been. At least I can cut the ball into the middle pocket now. Eight. Where's the white ball going to go? Is it going to cannon into any of the port colours? No, it looks like it's going to go between the green and the brown. That'd be nice. I can come back off the two cushions into the middle of the table. That's good. Nine. All right, pot the brown off the side cushion. Back into the middle of the table for the yellow. Make sure I keep my head down. Pressure shots coming up on the colours when you can win. I haven't come far enough, got to get the rest out. 13. Screw back with the rest is difficult. It's a different different feeling to when you're screwing back normally. Just got to make sure I hit the ball sweet. Oh, that's good. 15. <coughs> 10 behind. 10 behind. Green, brown, blues, 12. Pink balls, eight in front, need the pink. Just off the side cushion, back into the middle of the table again. Eighteen. Oh, it's not the best of places. No, I'm, I'm okay. I'll run through off two cushions. Yeah, it was a terrible shot, that was. Mind you, if I'd have played it normally with plain board, I'd probably ended up going in off in the middle pocket, something stupid like that. Still, I'm... Too much of an angle now on the blue to just roll it through. I have to come off the top cushion with a bit of side. Put the side on to keep away from the cushions. 27. It's just far enough. Right, just got to pot the pink now. Well, oh, don't worry about getting on the black. There's no point. Just concentrate on queuing nice and smooth and keep me head down on the shot. Doesn't matter where it goes as long as I pot the ball. Got it. 33. Eight in front on the black. That's a lovely place to be. I'll just roll this over the top pocket. I shouldn't think he'll even bother potting the black now. 33 to Steve and Frank. Right, well... Potted four reds, four blacks. This is the last loose red. I've got to think about getting into the pack now. It's always a bit difficult. Make sure I leave myself an angle on the black. I don't want to be straight. Now I've got to smash the black in off the top cushion and try and disturb the reds. The only trouble this shot is sometimes when you concentrate on trying to smooth the reds, you forget about potting the black and leave the game for your opponent. 
Must concentrate on fighting the black. Oh, perfect. Oh, no. Well, that's unlucky. They usually come out better than that. Just the sort of thing you don't want to happen. I have to play safe now. Can't really get down the bottom of the table with that red over the middle pocket. I'll have to play off the side cushion and behind the black. It's not the best of safety shots. Doesn't really do any positive stuff. Right. Just roll that through for the red. No, I've gone a bit too far there. There's a set on as well there, I think. I have to get the half bats out now. Fortunately, it's not a difficult shot. I have to chalk the half bats up. You never know who's been using them or what's been doing. People usually like go fishing with them or something. Right. Just prod this in. Keep on the black. It's not a difficult shot. The only trouble is the tip of the half bat usually is twice as big as your own tip. And oh, I just went in. Still perfect on the black. Seven. Right now, what can I do? That set's definitely on. Yeah, I just screw back the black off the side cushion. Get back into the middle half of that table. Make sure I keep away from the cushion. Don't want to be there. You can't screw back if you want to. Oh, that's lovely on it. Fourteen. Right, well, it's not... It's not a dead set. It's not lined up perfectly for the pocket, but of course, if you, if I hit it on the right, I'm going to push the second ball to the left. It's a, it's an amazing thing that happens. Even though they're lined up for the near jaw, squeezes the balls across. Got to keep on screw back for the back as well at the same time. Perfect. It's difficult to judge though. Sometimes you, you hit them too far to the right, and the ball goes even to the opposite side. Have to be very careful. A lot of practice required for those. Oh, well, I'm a bit straight in this. I can either play very short or screw back past the pink. I'll try the pink. No, oh, that's no good. It was a difficult shot. I had to put a lot of power in, but I'll have to play safe now. I hope I get another chance. Well, he's left me in again. I need the pink, though. A bit of a problem here with the pink. I can't really... 18. Can't really get the pink ball out now. I'm in the wrong position for it. I'll have to just stab the blue in and... Try for a double if I'm in the right angle. Right, I just need the pink. Three. I can play safe, but the pink's such a lovely double, and the fact that the white ball's going to go down, I can actually try and play to get the white ball behind the black if I miss it. Got it. Oh, I'm also on the black. I know we're near behind the black, but... 29. Doesn't matter now, it's gone in. Thirty-six, Davis and Frank. All right, here's a chance. If I can roll the red through, get an angle on the black to smash into the pack. Twenty-one. I could screw into them, disturb a load of reds, and, and the white will have come back off the off the pack, and I'll be on the red by my arm. Guaranteed certainty. Yeah? Oh, I thought it was. Oh, that's made it difficult. It's a potable red, but I've got a bridge over the ball now. I could cut the one in the middle, but that's too difficult. Still the right shot to play. I'll make sure I keep one foot on the floor, even though I'm sitting on the table. Concentrating on a solid bridge. Good shot. 29. Oh, not the perfect angle on the black. I've got to make sure I don't mess this up. I've if I play a very, very soft screw, I could hit that second red and keep on the first red. Oh, I did that well. Now I can run through the red. 36. The white ball's going to go into the second red. But if I put enough top on, the white ball will follow through. Thirty-seven. That's a good shot. Well in front here. Yeah. He's got me in the snooker and there are two reds left. I mustn't leave any of them up. I'm in trouble. I have to play a lay on that one on the cushion. Oh, 
that's good. There's not much chance of putting one there. Well, I'm a few points in front here. I can afford to try for this one in the middle. That was well good cued. One. Wouldn't have mattered if I'd have missed that. Oh, you still had to pop that red on the top cushion. And that was just a draw the frame, even. I've got to get back on the red, screw the pink ball off two cushions. Just got to make sure I'm not straight on the red. Otherwise, I can't get back on another colour. Seven. Mm, one along the top cushion. Put a little bit of right-hand side on it. Tends to make the pot a little bit easier. Eight. Mm, get on the yellow now from this blue. Shouldn't be too difficult. Um, too many points in front. I think I'll get a bit flashier. I'll go up the side, bottom cushion with a bit of side, and come around the back of the yellow. Come a bit too far. Thirteen. Let's get, get the rest out. I think. Yeah. Don't want to be off balance. Still important to put all the balls to keep my opponent off the table. Stun this off the bottom cushion behind the green. Fifteen. No, it's gone a bit too far. This is going to be a difficult shot. Well, the angle's okay to get on the brown, but with the white ball near the cushion, it makes it very hard to concentrate on queuing smooth. Right, well, piece of cake from here. Twenty-two. Twenty-seven. Well, the black's not on its spot, but... Uh... I can run through it or I can screw back. I'll screw back just to see if I can I'll try and keep my head down as much as possible. Give it some belt. That's it. Has it gone enough? 33. Well, it's a difficult shot, but I'm so far in front, it don't make any difference anyway. Just went in. 40. Davis and Fred. Well, it is a difficult shot. I can't really pot the red and stun it dead because there's that red over the middle pocket. You can pot that easy if I miss. It's a difficult shot. I have to play a shot to nothing and screw the white ball back down to the bottom of the table. I hope if I miss it, I'll get away with it. Yeah, that's good. The red always wobbles in the jaws if you get it close. That's left him nothing. Six in front. The red's 27. Black's 34. And then there's 35 on the table. I've got to get that last red off the cushion. If I screw back a little bit on the black. If I've got the angle, no. if I've got the angle there, I can knock the red ball off the cushion. Well, it's not perfect. I'll, if I did play it with this plain board, just miss it. I'd have to stun it just slightly, try and knock the red off. That's gone magic. Oh, I've won the game. Just slot this in the middle. Fourteen. Get on the blue. Home and dry. Fifteen. That was a good shot knocking that away at my cushion. They win games, those. Twenty. Yeah. This is horrible. 
What can I do here? Got me all over the place. Safety shots. So hard to get out of this one. Gonna have to look for a red ball that gives me a clear path with a white ball back down into bulk. I've got no chance of potting one. White ball's really nearly on the cushion and... Well, it'd be mad to go for a pot if I could see one even. There's a red there. I can play that off the top cushion round... Off, round the side of those four reds and back down the table again. Good shot. Oh, it's gone in. Nice, Andy. One. Oh, well, I got a lucky shot. Not on a ball, but I can't complain. Well, I think I'll roll him up behind the brown now. He should be sick as a pig after that. They're difficult shots, but I played that well. Just touched it. One, Davis. Oh, God. Well, I mean, it's easy enough to hit a red. I mean, millions of them down there, but it's nothing to do with that at this stage of the game. I've got to try and hit a red and also stop him from scoring one afterwards, which is nearly impossible. He's made it difficult for me. He's got so close to the brown that I'm forced to go off two cushions, really, to get down the table. That makes it harder. I think I have to go off the bottom and the side, try and miss the blue. I don't know, and try and... Well, there's got to be a lot of luck, lot of luck attached to this. I suppose if I if I miss the blue and clip that red, I could go down on the bottom cushion. But well, just gonna have to try my hardest and hope for a bit of luck. He got some. Oh, a bit of the blue. Twelve. <laughs> well, five. Well, oh, I might have got away with it. Played a bad shot. Looks like I might have stopped him from potting that red. Well. Does it go? I mean, just clip it in. It's a bit difficult, though. I've got a cue over the top of the red. Let's have a look, see if anything else goes first. No. Well, this isn't easy. I mean, I don't really know where the white ball's going to go. I can't control it, apart from just plop the red in. I've still got to go for it instead of playing safe. It's the right shot. Yeah, did it well. Kept my head down. One. No, I'm not on the ball, though. To play a safety shot now. Try and play the green full in the face and get the white ball tight on the cushion behind the brown. Should put him in more trouble. I've got a double kiss there. Still, it's not too bad. One, Davis. Well, I'm 30 points behind. I need one snooker. I can stun the yellow dead, put the white behind the brown, and hopefully get the snooker behind the brown. Let's have a look. Well, it's not too bad. It's not a four ball snooker. You could probably swerve out of that. Let's have a look at this. Looks like a snooker. I can swerve out. It's not worth going off the cushion. I'll get up in the air. Aim to Mr. Brown with plenty of left hand side. Dig into it. Bounce the white ball. Then let it grip. That's it. That's. Still 30 points in front. That means he needs another snooker. I think I'll, I'm fairly confident of winning this one. Well, he's just gone enough. I've got the white ball placed in the D wherever I want it, and there's a chance of potting this red get round the back and up with the blue. Oh, well. Could have been worse, I suppose. At least the red went in. Oh, I don't fancy potting the black from here, it's too hard. Oh, I've either got to play a safety shot. Mind you, the blue's not that difficult. I fancy this. White ball's coming back up the table. Where's the white ball going now? Oh, that's good. Mind you, there's a lot of work to do here. Black ball's tied up. Makes it really hard when the black ball's not in play means you've got to keep on going back up for the blue. Got to get the black ball into play as soon as possible if I want to continue the break here. I can just miss the bunch of reds with this red and get back on the blue. Oh, just clipped them, but still I'm okay. Seven. 
Well, I'm dead straight on the blue. It means I can't do anything down at the black end. I'll just have to roll the white ball through. Part of the red next to the blue. Keep it nice and smooth. Walk around the table nice and slowly. Got a chance here. Oh. Pop this screw back past the blue to keep on the right side of it. Thirteen. Good shot. Oh, now that red's stopping the black ball going along the top cushion, so if I can get that out as quick as possible. Still, it's a dodgy shot to play like that. I think I'll play for the... I think I'll play for the reds. Oh, it's gone a bit too far for that other red. Yeah, I've got the chance now to... Eighteen. Get this red out of the way. Come up the table for the blue again. Got to make sure I keep getting the right side of the blue, otherwise it makes my position of shots harder. That's strong enough. Nineteen. Now, I can either play the blue hard and go for the red next to the black. Mind you, don't know if the angle's right for that. Does that red go? Well, it's a bit dodgy. There's another red close to it. I think I'll just trundle the, r the blue ball in and get the rest out and Try and get one of those reds in the group of three. Might get on the black from there. Let's have a look at that. Twenty-four. Well, I've got the choice. I can either pop the red and screw back, or I could play. I could play the stun across here and get on the black. It's a dodgy shot, but if I get the black out, I'm in really in business. Twenty-five. Well, I wanted to be a bit closer to the cushion with the white ball there. It's made the pot very difficult. I've committed myself now. I'll have to go for it. If the black goes in, I'm perfectly on the red on the other red on the side, on the top cushion. It's a good shot. Thirty-two. No, this isn't really easy. I've got to. It's a bit too straight to stun it or anything. I've just had to run it off two cushions with a bit of right hand side. It's difficult. That's good. The right side makes it come into the middle of the table, makes it go fast off the cushions. Now what? I think I'll play the cannon on the second red. Keep on the red in the middle pocket then. Oh, the white ball's gone a bit too far there. Hmm. Well, still got to go for the red in the middle. It's the only one that goes. The red don't go past the blue into the corner pocket. I'll have to play the more of the angled shot. I stun in between the black and the pack of reds off onto the top cushion, onto the side cushion, and back into the middle of the table. Hit it fairly hard then. Stops it rolling off into the middle pockets. Right then. I think I'll, uh, well, I've got, just screw into the pack, I think. No, I won't, I'll play it soft. Made me mind up a bit late there. Yeah. Never mind. Right, now I can screw into the pack after I've potted the black, after I've potted the red. 49. Oh, I've got a chance of 100 here. If I pot the black and screw into the pack, the white ball's going to come back onto the side cushion. Then I'm perfectly on the red on the side cushion. A bit too hard. Oh God, what's going on? No, I can't play the one on the side cushion now. I have to get the, the spider out. That's worse than the rest. Well, half putts. Well, I've got a difficult shot now. The balls are so close together, the putt's not that hard. It's making sure I don't push the white ball, make a foul stroke. But I tap it. Yeah. 57. Right, and if I pop the pink and stun it dead, can I pop that red on the left hand side? Well, I can, but. Actually, the pink doesn't spot, I don't think. If the pink doesn't go on its spot, then that red ball next to the pink spot is an easier shot to pop. Yeah, well, it won't spot. 
I'll just screw back and... That's good. I don't know if it doesn't spot. Right, well, not perfectly in line, but I can't run through. I won't I'll end up in the middle of the table. The red will stop it. I'll have to stun. Screw, I could screw off, get back to the blue. 64. A bit further than I'd liked. That's the good thing about screwing back for the blue. If you do make the mistake of going too far, there's always the bolt colours. They're always down there. Get you out of trouble colours there. Well, the reds are pretty open. I've just got to make sure I don't cover myself up on any. Play any really bad shots here. I should get 100. Stun the yellow off the side cushion. Send it down the table. I shouldn't go too far wrong. Make sure I don't hit it too hard, that's all. Oh, no. Well, that's just what I didn't want to happen. Oh, God. 66. Well, I've got... Well, I've just got to cut this in, I suppose. I'm in a pretty strong position. Screw it in, I might stop the white wolf from going too far. Screw it in with that side. Oh, I think. Well, I can pop the brown here and screw back, or I can... Oh, if I pop the pink and screw into the side cushion just before the middle pocket, with a bit of right-hand side, the white ball's going to go up the table for the red. thing about that was shot, it was, the white ball was always on the line of the red, so I was never going to get a bad position. Stand back for the black here. 74. Well, those two reds by the pink are quite easily potable into the other pocket, but I can get that one off the side cushion there, get behind it and pot it. 84. Well, it's not perfect. Oh, that's terrible. It means the bridge is going to be really awkward now. 81. Got to make sure it's a firm bridge. Get settled on the shot. Don't do anything too drastic here. Oh, just went in. 82. I want the last two reds and colours for 100. Ninety. Well, let's have a look. Where's the red go? Does it go into that middle pocket? No, it doesn't. It means I'm going to have to send the white ball off the top cushion, stun it back up towards the blue to get it. That's good. Ninety-seven. I'll just pop this and get on the black. Make sure I've got an angle on the black to get back on the yellow. Ninety-eight. That's nice. Well, it could be a bit straighter. It means a bit of a cutback. I'll concentrate on this one. It's always difficult for under. Keep your head down. Hundred and five. Green's not in its spot, that means I've got to be a bit more accurate with a white ball now. Send it across the table. Try and rest it on the cushion. 107. Play a little screw back here. Nice and smooth. 110. Well, there shouldn't be any more problems here. Could be 132. Stand this hard onto the side cushion. 114. Well, I think I've won the game. 119. 
Oh, I've seen this shot before earlier on. Shot with the side. Keep your head down. 125. 4-2 and I won the match. I hope this video has given you a better understanding to this fascinating game. Who knows, you may even become a snooker addict like me. Even if you don't, I hope I've given you an insight into the game that will help you appreciate it when you watch it on television. If you do want to seriously improve your game, don't let your enthusiasm make you rush ahead too fast. Take time to develop your basic techniques. Practice them until they're as perfect as you can make them. Then you'll know what successful snooker is all about.